are about to journey into the past and discover one of the great leaders in history, without whom our nation would not exist. In war, George Washington led the fight for independence from Great Britain. In peace, he gave up power, chaired the Constitutional Convention, and served as the nation's first president, proving to the world a nation's people could govern themselves. His leadership defined America's governing principles, establishing the freedom, liberty, and stability enjoyed by millions today. Yet his thoughts were always of home. I would rather be at Mount Vernon with a friend or two, he said, than to be attended at the seat of government by the representatives of every power in Europe. After his passing, Washington's beautiful estate eventually declined and his iconic house nearly fell to ruin. It took the efforts of a few patriotic women, led in 1853 by Anne Pamela Cunningham, to save and preserve it for future generations. They formed the Mount Vernon Ladies' Association of the Union and raised money from Americans across the country to purchase the home. To this day, the Mount Vernon Ladies' Association continues to preserve and protect this special place. As you explore Mount Vernon, discover the life and impact of George Washington. As his most famous eulogist wrote, Washington was first in war, first in peace, and first in the hearts of his countrymen, but also second to none in the humble and endearing scenes of private life. We invite you to his private world. Welcome to George Washington's Mount Vernon. After you've entered the Texas Gate, begin your journey at the Ford Orientation Center, where audio guides and maps of the estate are available. If your visit includes a mansion tour, take a look at your ticket. The time printed on it is when you can line up outside the mansion. The mansion has been expertly restored to its 1799 condition. This was George and Martha Washington's showcase. Each room carefully decorated to display the wealth of a Virginia plantation and demonstrates George Washington's vision for the new nation. The center of the historic area is the Bowling Green. It is the large centrally located lawn on the west side of the mansion. One of the more remarkable aspects of Mount Vernon are the original outbuildings and gardens. These rare preserved structures and landscapes illustrate the daily activities that were vital for survival in the 18th century. George Washington depended on enslaved labor his entire life. At Mount Vernon, he maintained a workforce of several hundred enslaved individuals, as well as hired and indentured staff. We encourage you to learn about the people who worked and lived here. To the north is the upper garden and greenhouse. Washington designed this area to be both beautiful and useful, with plants for ornamentation and food production. As you proceed along the North Lane, you'll discover examples of working and living quarters, including the enslaved quarters, blacksmith shop, and spinning house. As you explore the structures on the South Lane, you'll find George Washington's magnificent stable yard. He was called the greatest horseman of the age, and his stable yard speaks to the importance of animals on the estate. Keep a lookout for sheep, oxen, and hogs. Near the stable yard is the lower garden and orchard, where free and enslaved gardeners harvested much of the food enjoyed by Washington's family and their guests. 
Washington owned 8,000 acres of farmland on which he produced a variety of crops for consumption and sale. The Potomac River was Washington's lifeline for trade with Europe and the Caribbean. The mansion is perfectly situated to capture a stunning view of the river. Like Washington and his family, take time to admire this vista from the Windsor chairs along the piazza. The landscape here is preserved. The result is a rare, unobstructed view, the same Washington himself would have seen in his time. Since 1860, millions of people like you have come here to pay respect to our nation's founding father. There is no more moving way to do so than at his final resting place. Upon his death, tributes poured in from nations around the world. And Washington's tomb continues to be a sacred destination for world leaders and citizens alike. Today, you too can participate in this tradition by observing the daily wreath-laying ceremonies that celebrate Washington's legacy. Nearby, you will also find the Slave Memorial and Cemetery. This has been a burial ground for both those enslaved and freed African Americans connected to the community at Mount Vernon. The centerpiece is a memorial designed in 1983 by students from Howard University. It sits beside the 1929 marker, which is one of the earliest commemorations to enslaved individuals in the country. Guests are invited to participate in our daily memorial ceremony to honor those enslaved here. In addition to these year-round events, you can also experience special seasonal activities. From April to October, the Farm and Riverfront hosts demonstrations of Washington's agricultural pursuits. While there, tour the 16-sided barn, his clever invention for treading and filtering wheat. If you have time, consider a short ride to our fully operational distillery and grist mill, also open from April to October. George Washington was one of the largest whiskey distillers in the country. And this legacy is carried on by our skilled tradespeople who make and sell spirits from his original recipe. Returning to the estate, we offer several museum attractions designed to give you a deeper understanding of Washington's legacy. In the Donald W. Reynolds Museum, you'll find immersive exhibits chronicling the life and impact of George Washington. The Revolutionary War 4D experience puts you in the heart of the battle, and the B. Washington Theater allows you to measure your leadership skills against the man himself. You'll also find a permanent display of original Washington artifacts and discover how ongoing preservation keeps this place alive for generations to come. Gift shops are located near the main entrance, along with several dining options. For a variety of convenient food items, try the pavilion. If you have more time, we suggest dining at the Mount Vernon Inn restaurant, which prepares some of Washington's favorite dishes, unique to the Tidewater region of Virginia. During Washington's life, an invitation to his home was a treasured honor. We extend one to you today. Washington's story is woven into the very fabric of our national identity. He united 13 colonies and helped to create a peaceful, civilian-led government. As you journey back to the early days of the American Republic, reflect on his triumph over tyranny his commitment to service, and be inspired by his example to become a voice of leadership in your own community. Thank you for visiting George Washington's Mount Vernon.